A quick peek into the locker room as the players get set for the game ahead. Looking to make a big splash here tonight. Welcome to 2K Sports. We have the NBA coming up. Great to have you with us. Brian Anderson with you. Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill joining us tonight, along with the fourth member of our team, Allie LaForce. And with almost all of the season in the books, the power rankings can tell you a lot. They're holding in the same spot, looking to climb the rankings. Well, right now for the 76ers, they've surprised so many people with their ability to maintain this astonishing display of dominance. But here they are, the best team in the league late into the season. We're just about ready for tip-off. But first, let's hear from the sideline. Allie, it's all yours. Well, guys, the Wolves have a star tandem with the two top picks, Anthony Edwards and Carl Anthony Towns. Edwards says that they can be special because, quote, we're dynamic together. His shooting and my ability to get to the rim is hard to stop. He can shoot. Man, I have never seen anyone shoot like that. Brian? The three-point shootout champion. Thanks, Allie. And we've got a pair of teams here that know a thing or two about ball movement, Grant. Yeah, they really do. I mean, there's a great feel that these teams play with. Two of the smartest teams in the league. They focus on sharing the basketball and keeping everyone involved. This is a matchup for the purist. So let's take a look at the starters for the Philadelphia 76ers. Thibel and Harris at the... Three and the four. James Harden out there with Maxi, And it's Embiid in at the five spot. And for the Timberwolves. At the forward spots, it's Edwards and Towns. Jalen Noel out there with D'Angelo Russell. And it's Gobert in at the five, down low. Now here's Russell. Pass to Gobert. Russell with the ball. Clock at six. Three-pointer. Joel Embiid with the board. Outside Harden. From seven feet, Harris. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. You know, in the past several seasons, there's been one constant with the 76ers. They're going to be among the best defensive teams in the league. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. down the first one the Sixers identity really does center around their defense it's so true B.A. and they've done a great job playing to their strengths that's the key for any contending team maximize your players talents Philly has done that as well as anybody and Harris drops them both well this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line and boy has his stroke been on the money pass to Russell now here's Gobert. Russell with the ball. Picked up by Embiid. The ball's knocked loose. Russell, the pass to Edwards. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Their last encounter was in Philadelphia. <laughs> and you know they should be thankful for the result. They didn't play their best in that one, but still won by a reasonable margin. Yeah, you know, I didn't sense any urgency on their part. They did just enough to win, but I don't think they can come away feeling great about the way they did it. Down! Oh, that's good. Well, Anthony Edwards plays with joy, and you love to see him get his teammates involved. Pretty pass. Russell against Harden. To the inside. Outside Edwards. Pass to Russell. Harris against Russell. Here's Embiid. Soft touch off the glass. A sequence you might expect from Embiid, an elite rebounder, and the man knows how to finish. Here's Noel. Here's Towns. Pounded by Harris. And there's the foul. It's on Joel Embiid. That's his first foul of the game. First team foul. Here's Russell. Coming off a 22-point game against Sacramento. Gobert in the high post. 
and he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's on Joel Embiid. What you love about Rudy Gobert is he understands his strengths and where he can impact the game. That is primarily on the defensive end, but also as a screen setter offensively. And that one falls for Gobert. Even on the years he's not winning Defensive Player of the Year, Rudy Gobert finds a way to finish in the top three. This is one of the most consistent, elite defenders in the game. And the 76ers making a change here. Pirtle's checked in. And so Gobert nails both of them. Endorsed with Gobert, it still feels like he doesn't get the credit he deserves. And B.A., at this point, I find that inexcusable. You just watch the game and understand the metrics to see the massive impact that Rudy Gobert has on winning. It is not only on the defensive end, either. Shot clock at five. Harden, good. Uh, James Harden, one of the best individual offensive players the game has ever seen. If he gets his feet in the painted area, it is always dangerous for the defense. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. They're taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. And so it's Minnesota with it, following the score by Philadelphia. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Well, you consider D'Angelo Russell and the fact that he's been a part of multiple organizations. Obviously, he has been a frequent trade piece. The one question is, can he stick with one franchise and establish some success? And he makes a first. Well, his trade activity says something about how desirable Russell is as a player. I think he's a guy any team could want on their roster because of his scoring capabilities. Very capable of huge nights in the NBA, but the other aspect that's so important, his ability as a setup guy. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And we're at the point of the season where we really start seeing teams dial in for the playoff push, Grant. Oh, such an exciting time, B.A. And for some teams, the playoffs start now. We've got bubble teams in both conferences battling for positioning, and every game has playoff implications. They get the rebound. Harden off target at the rim. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights, that bucket is automatic. Edwards for three. Pure for three-point range. Uh, the work that Anthony Edwards is putting in as a shooter is there. That range shot so important. Nice three-point look right there. Hurdle finds Maxi. That shot off. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. Outside Russell. Pass to Noel. Gobert with it. That one's good, and it's Towns with the assist. Well, this is where Cat can manufacture additional points for his team. Defense focused and locked in on him. Find a teammate. Harden, the pass to Maxi. The fadeaway. Minnesota with a rebound. Gobert's got four rebounds now. Boy, the offense has been on point. <laughs> they have great timing and great communication. So hard to get stops against them. Now here's Russell. He has a clear impact on this offense, putting up over 19 a game. Inside. Hey, great communication on the lob. Well, if you're that wide open, I can promise you James Harden will find you. Pass to Towns. And here's Edwards. And Edwards slams it in. I just love the strong finish there inside. Man, he's got that dunker's mindset, doesn't he? Always ready to pounce. Now here's Harden. 20 points for him last game against the Pacers in Indianapolis. I thought his physicality was crucial, too. You know, he kept the defense on their toes and repeatedly got to the free throw line. Here's Towns. Oh, rejected by Pirtle. 
active defense from Jakob Pertl. That's the key. When he stays active and alert, locks are going to be there for him. Harris outside. Pertl with a screen on town. For three, Maxi. And it's Noel with a rebound. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. Here's Noel. He had nine points in his last time out. Right side, Russell. Shoots over Harden. The shot by Russell, no good. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Anthony Edwards. That's his first foul of the game. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. Let's see if that block can amp up this team. I mean, they're looking for anything to get themselves going. Pirtle, the pass to Thibault. And here is Maxi. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. And the improvement of Tyrese Maxi's three-point shot from his first season to second year, just unprecedented. He improved by over 12% with a huge increase in attempts as well. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throws good for Maxi, and for a player with the speed and quickness of Maxi, Grant leveling up that three-point shot changes everything for him. Oh, so true, B.A. It becomes pick your poison with him, and it put him in a conversation last year for most improved player. Anderson's checked in for the Timberwolves. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. The Timberwolves have gone four of nine in this one so far. Here's Noel. He's been a consistent contributor, averaging just over 11 a game. Anderson finds Russell from the arc. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Outside Maxi, back to Harden. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Harden's got his second bucket on the night. Intelligent basketball. Keep feeding the hot hand. Outside Edwards. Towns down low. He's working on Pirtle. Towns can't get it to go. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Harris passes to Maxi. Outside Harden. Releases. Again, the Sixer score. Hasn't taken him any time to get into a groove. Three or four to start things off. Pass to Anderson. Towns on a screen. Anderson inside. Pounded by Harris. Six on the shot clock. Here's Edwards. The Timberwolves again can't hit. The Sixers leading. With a step back. Misses off the left iron. This has not been his best quarter. And you know what? They keep calling this number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. Now here's Edwards. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Kings in Sacramento. And you know, guys, the other thing I really appreciated about his effort in that game was the effort and work on the glass. What a well-rounded performance. Well, the Timberwolves struck gold by getting the number one pick in the 2015 and 2020 NBA drafts. You are so right, B.A., selecting Carl Anthony Towns and Anthony Edwards, respectively two important players that have already had a tremendous impact on this team. That one's off. What you love about D'Angelo Russell is his commitment to work. Though he's played for a couple of teams, this guy brings it every day. Reed's checked in for the Timberwolves. Prince comes in for Noel. We got this, we got this. Thank you. 
fourth, and he's good on the second. Well, whenever you bring up the 76ers, you instantly think of Joel Embiid. Oh, no question. He's the face of this franchise. Embiid is as good as anyone in the league. Off the floor, Joel is willing to take the blame when things don't go right. That's who you want as a leader. Now here's Wall. An important role in this offense, averaging around 12 and a half per game. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That one on Russell. Oh, this guy's so explosive. And John Wall knows how to draw contact when he gets to the rack. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. And in trading for Rudy Gobert, the Timberwolves taking a Twin Towers approach with two seven-footers in their front court. Of course, the outstanding shooting of Carl Anthony Towns means that spacing shouldn't be much of a concern. And so Wall nails them both. John Wall, of course, the number one pick back in 2010. The game is largely predicated on speed, the ability to get downhill, but boy, he has added strength to that incredibly long frame. He has been a force to be reckoned with. Edwards, a pass to Reed, outside for Russell, beyond the arc, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Nas Reed. That's his first foul of the game. The Timberwolves making a switch here. McDaniels checked in. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Outside wall. Maxi against McDaniels. Wall gets the bucket. Well, make no mistake about it. John Wall is a point guard first, but he shows you right there. I can work without it and be ready to rise and fire. Now here's Anderson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Hurdle with the block. Wall against Edwards. Tucker with a screen on Edwards. Wall, the pass to Tucker. Man, the basket's good with the assist from Wall. Back-to-back -back threes, making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. Minnesota's gone one for three from beyond the arc. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Here's McDaniels. No good! Chance to end the run there. Philadelphia has gone two for four from range to start things off. Edwards against Wall. Now here's Maxi. Defense is right there. Second chance shot. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three point play opportunity. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for Philadelphia. Well, hey, guys, I mean, can we talk about how unselfish they've been? Just racking up the assist numbers, moving it around with great precision. I think let's give them credit as well for the job they've done getting to the free throw line. It's been a huge factor for them. Mind the lane. Mind the lane. One shot. And you have to be impressed how they're getting to the free throw line and taking advantage of those opportunities. The Timberwolves shooting just about 29% so far. Not great. Now a timeout called by Minnesota. This game coming after the loss versus the Kings. They hit a couple big shots, but overall, there was a lack of consistency. Just not their night at the offensive end. You know what? There was a lot of standing around in that basketball game. Failing to move bodies and failing to move the basketball is a bad formula.
and taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for James Harden. And when you look at his offensive output over the past few years, it seems like other teams have figured him out and have his number now. He's having to put in a lot more effort on the offensive end, but without producing nearly the same results. On defense, the Sixers. 11-point game. High post read. He's working on Pirtle. Here's Edwards. Looking to win the run. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. That'll belong to John Wall. Well, one thing you learn about Anthony Edwards. He does not lack for confidence. He wants to become the best to ever do it. And he believes he can. First free throw is good, and you see the ambition for greatness in Edwards. But, Grant, is he willing to do the work? Well, B.A., think about this. He's a quick study, he listens to his coaches with curiosity, and he's driven to achieve the goals they set for him. Yeah, I think he can. No good on the second free throw. Anthony Edwards is one of the most explosive athletes in the league. He can burn you with his perimeter jump shooting. He's dangerous in transition. And look out, folks, the upside is there. No question who's in control of the board so far. McDaniels passes to Reed. Now here's Edwards. with the layup Philadelphia has gone 2 of 5 from deep pass to Wall Tucker with a screen on Edwards Wall the pass to Tucker gets the 3 ball to go Tucker's got 6 they're not wasting any time putting their stamp on this game. What a start. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Here's Prince. Looking for his first basket still in this one. McDaniels inside. Maxi covering. And that one's good. 54 seconds left in the opening quarter. Outside wall, pass to Maxi. Hurdle with a screen on McDaniels. Ball for three. The shot misses. The Timberwolves go the other way with it. Here's Reed. Outside McDaniels. Back to Reed. 27 seconds left in the first. Edwards for three. Hurdle grabs a miss. Myrtle's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. I think he's got to settle down because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. This quarter he has been completely bothered. Now here's Wall. One second left. No good. Misses at the buzzer. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. Sixers ahead, up 11, and we'll bring you the start of quarter number two when we return. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. Boy, the 76ers at the top of their game, huh? They're getting a big contribution from the bench already. As a coach, I think you get a certain feel for what your team needs. And credit this guy for not waiting around. He went ahead and made the adjustment. Philadelphia has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Carl Anthony Towns is out there with Torian Prince. Then there's Nas Reed. Then it's Jalen Noel. And it's Russell in at the point guard position. So that's the Timberwolves five. Embiid's shot is good. I like watching Embiid attack on the inside, using his size and soft touch to capitalize. Pass to Prince. Harden against Russell. 
three to screen on Harden. Russell from outside. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Embiid's got four rebounds in the game. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. And that one drops for him. This is one of the specialty shots in James's arsenal. This guy with the teardrop floater. Woo -hoo -hoo. Good night. Here's Noel. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Harden against Russell. Harden, the pass to Harris. Outside Dybul. Five on the clock. Late clock. The Sixers need to put one up here from deep three-point range. And that'll be Philadelphia's ball as it goes out of bounds. Sixers able to keep the possession. Gobert's checked in for the Timberwolves. Minute and a half gone in the second quarter. Fader on the way. Harris' shot is good. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. The shot by Russell, no good. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Now here's Harden. A 17-point lead, their biggest. From downtown, the offensive rebound. Embiid. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. A fun-loving player on and off the court. Embiid continues to get better. One of the league's top big men. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops the first. Well, you ask any team executive, they're all looking for the next Giannis. The problem is there aren't many like Giannis. <laughs> that is so true, B.A. Good luck with that, team executives. But reality, look, with the way the NBA game has evolved, positionless basketball is what it's all about. You combine that with size, skill, and talent, that's a dangerous combination, and that's what every team needs. Now here's Russell. to end the run, and he sinks the layup. Russell's got five now. Well, he's getting better at absorbing contact. Finishes like this prove Russell is a tough, dynamic competitor. Harden, the pass to Harris from outside the arc. The shot, no good. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. Pass to Russell. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second. Comes up empty from 19 feet out. And his struggles have been apparent. Unable to make an impact scoring the ball. Back to Harris. Embiid with it. The jump hook. And it falls for him. He's hit three of his first four attempts. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Let's check in with our reporter, Ali LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Well, Joel Embiid drawing comparisons to some legendary big men. He said, quote, I want to be mentioned as one of the greats. That's my goal. And obviously being a Hall of Famer. But you've got to take step by step, one day at a time. It's going to take a lot of work, and I'm willing to put it in. Guys? Well, he's well on his way, Alex. Thanks.
playoffs around the corner. Let's see how the West is shaping up. You take a look at the Timberwolves, and after a subpar season, there have been some questions about the direction of this franchise. You know, for Minnesota, sometimes it looks like they just want the season to end. I mean, it's been one struggle after another all year, and they're really not a appearing to have any fun out there too and when that happens the talk is already about what's going to change in the offseason and the way things have gone there's going to be plenty of that now here's russell he's got five with the 10 footer takes the three the rebound by Embiid. philadelphia has gone 0 for three from deep to begin the second Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Harris down low. Prince is there. Shot clock at six. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And Harden, a former league MVP, three-time scoring champ. Grant, the only thing he's missing is a title. Yeah, B.A., I mean, it would only help cement his legacy. For years, he'd carry his team only to run out of gas in the playoffs. Take a break. But postseason success Two counts stops. for a lot when it's all said and done. That's good from Harden. Ask any player or coach in the NBA, how good is James Harden? And you will get the same answer. This is one of the best scorers to ever do it, guys. And so he hits both. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played. Pass to Gobert. Here's Prince. And here's Russell. Fires the three. And it's Harden who pulls down the rebound. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Here's Tucker. Embiid with it. Six to shoot. Over Gobert. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And here's Minnesota now. Next matchup, they'll be home against the Nets. That'll be the second and last game of a quick homestand. Pass to Prince. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Harden's got four rebounds now. Outside Tybalt. Now Tucker on the wing, Harden. Now Embiid, defended by Gobert. The baseline J is on the way, and it comes off the front of the rim. Timberwolves shooting just 24% in this one. Not great. Outside Russell. Trying to get back on track. Another shot. And it's finished off by Gobert as he lays it in. Gobert's got six. I'll tell you, with Rudy Gobert on the floor, you have got to find him and keep him off the glass because he can be a force. Russell against Harden. And he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. 12 points for him. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. Pass to Towns. Over Tucker. The shot by Towns. No good. The 76ers have gone 5 of 10 in the second quarter. Harris down low. Prince is there. Harris misses. Harris has gone just one of five shooting from the floor. Here's Noel. Outside Russell. Downs against Tucker. For three. Noel, no good. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Harris passes to Tucker. 
to the paint. The 11-footer, count the basket. And, and just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. And Minnesota calls time here. Changes here for the Timberwolves. Anderson's checked in for Rudy Gobert. McDaniels comes in for Prince. And it's Edwards in for Russell. And the 76ers will have a different look here. Pirtle's checked in for Tucker. Milton comes in for Tobias Harris. Maxi, he's checked in for Thibel. And it's Wall in for Harden. Side Edwards. Here's Towns. No luck on that one. Excellent D there from Embiid. McDaniels against Wall. Pass to Milton. Back to Wall. The three. Drills it from deep. Wall's got eight. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Edwards, a pass to Towns. Here's Noel. Towns on a screen. Five to shoot. Takes a step back. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. And he gets the bucket. Towns has got his second basket of the night. Well, we know how capable and consistent Carl Anthony Towns can be when he gets this kind of inside position. Wall, the pass to Maxi. Embiid, a screen on Edwards. Back to Wall. There's the three. They get it back. It's good on the putback. No surprise MB was all over that one. He's a tough guy to root out of there once he establishes position. Pass to Anderson. Towns a screen on Pirtle. Anderson for three. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. Maxi against Edwards. And here's Embiid. Over Towns. No good from 11 feet. Minnesota shooting only 25% from the floor. Not great. On the wing, Noel. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. That'll belong to John Wall. <laughs> Two 
first free throw is good. And Doris Commissioner Silver has expressed a desire to ensure star players participate in a full complement of games. What's the answer here? I think, B.A., a couple things come to mind. There's been a long discussion about whether you can shorten the regular season. That obviously impacts revenue generated, so I'm not sure you'd go there. The league could also structure contracts to incentivize games played. Here's Maxi. He's got five. Pass to Embiid. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That one on Anderson. Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Embiid. Boy, showing a lot more aggressiveness now after making zero trips to the line in the first quarter. And he makes both free throws. So it's Minnesota now. Pass to Reed. Reed to screen on Maxi. Edwards for three. Rebound by the 76ers. Fresh off a win against the Pacers. And it wasn't just their starters putting in work. Their backups were real spark plugs on offense. One thing we know, great teams in the NBA get production off the bench, and that was critical that night. And too long on the shot. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead, but it's been a tough night for him individually. Reed to screen on Maxi. Puts it up from 12. Jump shot is good. Edwards has got eight points. Anthony Edwards just reading what the defense giving up. Gets to his mid-range game right there. Screen by Embiid. Down low. And good. Coming on the assist by Wall. Wall's got three assists now in this one. Come on, guys. Check out the tenacity. There's no back down in this fellow whatsoever. Reed to screen on Wall. Pass to Reed from six feet away. No good off the back of the rim. Philadelphia has gone just one of five so far this quarter from three. Milton. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Milton's got his first two points. Now John Wall's vision is unquestioned. He puts it on time and on target, creates an easy look for his teammate. Anderson with a screen on Maxi. Shot is good by Edwards. He's got 10. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Here's Embiid. Reed with the rebound. Minnesota shooting at just 26% in the second. Here's Noel. Pass to Reed. Now Edwards. Six on the shot clock. Here's Noel. Fires for three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Bertle's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Ball, the pass to Maxi. Embiid is screen on Edwards. Milton for three. Anderson pulls it down. And for Minnesota, they're shooting 27% in today's game. Not good. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Noel. Up top, Reed. Shoots a fadeaway. Myrtle grabs a miss. Myrtle's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Here's Wall. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. And so it's Philadelphia already up 26 points as this quarter ends. They're communicating well and stringing together stops. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. 
James, scoring seems to come easy for you. What's your mentality out there? I just like to have fun. You know, it's all for the kids. It's all for the fans. You know, I think that's what we're here for. And so, um, you know, guys, just go out there and compete, have fun, and just play hard. Well, the kids are getting a great show tonight. Good luck in the second half. Thanks very much, Allie. We'll be back soon to start the second half of basketball. Welcome, everybody. And as we start to work our way through the season, a sneak peek at the Rookie of the Year race. Speaking of the rookie race, either of you getting involved in any races of your own lately? Yeah, I'm trying to be Kennedy work every day. So far, I think I'm way out ahead, especially if there's a zebra stampede on the interstate. <laughs> what that? No, no, that really happened. You, it did. Sir. You weren't even here, Shaq, at that time. Well, Kenny, not a whole lot of zebra in these parts here. And now let's talk about Joel Embiid's first half performance, W-O-W. Getting all he can eat offensively and the opposition are pulling the hair out trying to slow him down. And if he keeps it up in the second half, before long, his hair is going to look like ours. And that is going to do it for us. Let's get back to some second half action with Brian Anderson and company. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. What else can you say? Joel Embiid, an impressive effort here today. And just halfway through this contest, he's already registered a double-double. That takes a level of aggression and a level of focus, and he has brought it all night thus far. And on the floor for Doc Rivers as we get into the second half. Harrison Embiid are playing up front. Tyrese Maxey is out there with James Harden. And it's Thibault in at the three. Now here's Russell. Pass to Towns. Back to Russell. Out of bounds. It'll be Philadelphia's ball. Okay, a chance to look at some numbers for John Wall. And checking out his splits, you can tell he's taken more of a backseat in their offensive game plan the last 10 games. His usage rate isn't as high, but that's natural. At some point during the season, every player goes through a stretch of fatigue. Now here's Maxi. With the drive. Minnesota with the rebound. Towns has got a sixth rebound on the night. And Towns' three-pointer is elite. But some don't think centers should float around beyond the arc. What's the balance there, you think, Grant? Well, I mean, first of all, it just shows how the game has evolved with big guys shooting like him. The bottom line, just play with aggression and don't settle. That triple is a weapon. You also got to use your size and skill inside just as often. And for those tuning in, we're about a minute into this second half. Outside Russell, down to five on the shot clock. And there's Towns on the assist by Russell. Towns has got six. This to me is an improving aspect of D'Angelo Russell's game. Reading the pick and roll, nicely done. Edwards against Thibault. Back to Harden. And a nice finish on the layup. He's got 14. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Well, the problem is they haven't gotten production from any other spot. But right now, this guy is cooking. And we're just about two minutes into the final half of play now. Maxi with it. Russell covering. And the whistle on the shot. Got some contact there. Misses the shot, but he'll shoot two. Well, that was clearly a foul. At the line for the 76ers, Tyrese Maxi. At the line for two. First one falls. Yeah. 
so hits one and misses one at the line. And for the Timberwolves, they're shooting poorly, just 30% so far. Dybul against Russell. Here's Towns. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got 14 rebounds tonight, going after it. Outside Maxi. Over Edwards. Carl Anthony Towns comes up with a rebound. Well, this is the night you look at your teammates and tap them on the back and say, good job, because for him, he's been struggling all night. Towns, a screen on Harden. Pass to Russell. Now here's Towns, defended by Harden. Towns, double team. Here's Gobert. Oh, and Gobert powers it home. Wow, why lay it in when you can send an emphatic message for the Gobert on the dunk? Maxi passes to Harden. The Sixers with another miss. Not how they hoped to start this half. One for five, brick after brick. Let's start building the building. Towns with the ball. Now guarded by Harris. Towns gets the bucket. Looks like he's shooting with a lot more confidence here in the second half. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. We've gone about three and a half minutes here into the third. Embiid inside. Defended by Gobert. Embiid misses. Boy, he's definitely covered well there. And we know he can knock down the fadeaway shot. Just didn't fall there. Here's Noel. Pass to Russell. Three-pointer. Dybul with the board. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10-rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. Maxi passes to Harden. It's blocked by Gobert. Nine foot nine standing reach for the Gobert. Twice on the bike. Edwards can't hit. Philadelphia shooting just under 40% from the field. Hey, yo, right here. Harden with it. 14 points for him to the middle. And Harden with the slam. Well, James Harden will go down as one of the great scorers in NBA history, and when he gets his groove going, look out, folks. Russell, the pass to Edwards. Double team on Towns. Gobert. Oh, and Gobert powers it home. There's real synergy in play right now on the offensive end. The pass was right where it needed to be. Dybul against Edwards. With the floater, it's blocked by Gobert. Russell against Harden. Harden missing again. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. Pass to Gobert. Russell with the ball. This one for three. Nails it from three. Russell's got eight points. They're improving, but still find themselves behind. Yeah, but this run started with tighter execution at both ends, and, and that'll need to be maintained for them to have a chance to take the lead. Now here's Harden. He's got 16. Now Harris over Towns, and it's Harris. That time on the assist by Harden. Harris has got his second bucket on the night. Gobert with a screen on Harden. Russell from outside. The rebound by Maxi. Philadelphia has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Harris outside. Pass to Embiid. He hits again. Seven for 13 and looking confident. You know Embiid loves to produce like this, and you can tell it's firing up the team as well. Now a timeout called by Minnesota.
Anderson's checked in for the Timberwolves. Prince comes in for Noel. And a new group getting ready for the Sixers. Pirtles checked in for Joel Embiid. Tucker comes in for Harris. Milton's checked in for Thibel. And it's John Wall in for Maxi. Minnesota's gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Now Russell. Give him eight. Pass to Anderson. Back to Russell. Jacks up a three. Another miss by Minnesota. Philadelphia's got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Milton with it. Outside wall. Shot clock at six. Some solid defense from Russell. Ooh, old school right there. No easy buckets. Fires the three. Rebound by the 76ers. It's clear he's totally out of sync. The team needs to rethink its strategy around what to do with him. Wall, the pass to Harden. Ten footer. That one is off, and it's the Timberwolves taking it at the other way. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Harden against Russell. Anderson with a screen on Harden to the paint. Here's Gobert. Banked it in off the glass. Gobert's got six points in the quarter. Boy, we think of Rudy Gobert as a rebounding and rim-protecting force, but right now he is in rhythm offensively. Harden, the pass to Wall. And the shot goes. Wall's got ten. We're talking 6'3", 210 pounds. John Wall's frame deceptive at the lead guard position. Interior scoring is not an issue. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Yeah, that's a little icing on the cake right there. Putting on a show while they enjoy a big second half lead. Now here's Gobert. He's got 12. Here's Edwards. Hurdle grabs a miss. Hurdle's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Here's Wall. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. He's got 12. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Now here's Gobert. Looking at his production, close to 12 points a game. Back to Russell. The three is up. And Tucker pulls it down. Tucker's got four rebounds in the game. Philadelphia's got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Milton passes to Wall. Pass to Harden. There's the triple. Man, the basket's good with the assist from Wall. Wall's got assist number five here tonight. Well, this is the basis of James Harden's game, right? That three-point accuracy opens up every other aspect of the floor and his scoring ability. Now here's Gobert. Here's Prince. And again, another missed shot. Wall with it. Outside Harden. Two minutes for the third. Two minutes. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Gobert's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Down low. It goes again. His sixth basket and seven tries. Boy, he's been cooking, but the teammates, he's just not getting a lot of support from them. Outside wall. Pass to Harden. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. This team loves it when Pirtle can make an impact on the offensive glass. There's a lot of ways he can get his points, but this is an easy one. Now here's Gobert. He's got 14. And the call will be against James Harden. 
That's his third foul of the game. Some changes for Minnesota. Reed's checked in for Gobert. And McDaniels is subbed in for Edwards. Tobias Harris checked in for the Sixers. Tucker against Anderson. Just five on the clock. Outside Russell. Fires from deep. And Tucker pulls it down. Tucker's got a rebound number five here tonight. Outside Harden. There's 48 seconds left in the third. Back to Harris. Over McDaniels. Misses off the right iron. The Timberwolves shooting at 32% from the floor. Not good. And here's Anderson. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Reed, good. When you watch Torian Prince play, you know it's about team. This guy finds the open man and loves delivering it. Harden against McDaniels. Now here's Harden. He's closely guarded. And then Harden with the jam. Oh my, James Harden with a statement right there. James Harden, he's been the guy making things happen for Philadelphia. He's been effective on offense, racking up 21 points so far in this contest. We'll be right back after this word. a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. Talk about painting a magnificent picture with that, Don. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. We call that putting it right in the pocket, and he knew what to do with it once it was there. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. We've got Jordan McLaughlin, Jaden McDaniels out there with Nas Reed. Then it's Bryn Forbes, and it's Moore in at the three slot. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Here's Forbes. Pass to McLaughlin. From deep. And it's Niang with the rebound. The 76ers shooting just 42% so far in the game. Here's Bassey, Reed defending. Well, Grant, I know you collect art, so we've been hearing all about these NFTs that teams and players are creating. I'm going to need a little instructional here. What's it all about? VA, oh, first of all, memorabilia and collectibles have always been around. But yes, NFTs have taken it to a whole nother level. And yes, I do have an NFT. I don't fully understand it, so I can't explain it to you. But I know it's the next big thing, that's for sure. Now here's Wall, stolen by Reed. And that's only his first miscue of the night. He's been unbelievably steady so far. McDaniels, good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. Pass to Bassey. It's stolen away. And here they come. Here's McDaniels. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. Wow. Pretty much an unbelievable slam there, B.A. And you got that right. Here's Bassey. Back to Wall. On the take. And the big finish by Wall. Well, this is one of the top athletes in the league. Wall showing his lateral and vertical mobility. Pass to Moore. Here's Reed. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Following this one, they host the Trailblazers. And that's the first of just two home games for them. Wall, no good. For Minnesota, they've gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Reed, a screen on Wall. 
Now here's Reed. And with the G League Ignite and other youth leagues, the opportunity to go pro at a young age is there. Doris, did you see this coming? Well, we know nothing stays static in life, Brian, and I think you need to look no further than what happened for such a long time over in Europe and abroad. We'd observed that European players had an advantage where it came to skill development because they were playing pro earlier than people over here in the United States. This has helped to close the gap. You know, just what they were looking for right there. That's not a shot he's going to miss. Pass to Forbes. Here's more. Clock at six. Here's McLaughlin. No good from outside. And for Philadelphia, they're shooting about 43% on this one. Here's Korkmaz. Pass to Wall. Puts it up from 17. And he jams it home with authority. And I'll tell you what. This is a guy who doesn't take a break at all on the boards. Man, doing serious work. He likes being an anchor on the glass. Well, but as defenders keep forgetting to box him out, he continues to just make them pay. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Towns, he's checked in for more. Edwards comes in for Forbes. And it's Noel in for McLaughlin. And a new group getting ready for the Sixers. Embiid, he's checked in for Bassey. Harris comes in for Reed. Thibel, he's checked in for Niang. And it's Maxi in for Korkmaz. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Reed finds Towns. Offensive rebound, Timberwolves. The 76ers have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Now here's Maxi. And we've heard the cautionary tales in the past. Does it seem like players today are getting better financial advice, in your opinion, Grant, to make their money last? Yeah, B.A., I think they're getting better financial advice, but I also think the, the times that we're in, I think there's more awareness. Players understand the pitfalls or potential setbacks. Uh, the social media, digital age, all the information's there. So players today, yes, they're making more money and I actually think they're doing a better job of protecting and saving their money, too. Now here's Wall. Outside Tybal. Here's Embiid. Not going to go that time. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. Here's Noel. And there's the foul. It'll go on Matisse Thibel. That's his first foul. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Gobert comes in for Reed. And D'Angelo Russell subbed in for McDaniels. Harris against Towns. On the wing, Noel. Just five to shoot. And it's off from three-point range. And for the 76ers, they're shooting about 43% since the fourth quarter began. Wall against Russell. Now here's Wall. Not a lot of room. And he banks in the layup. Wall's got 10 points here in the second half. Minnesota has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. Russell with the ball. Well, Grant, we're seeing players extend their careers. Often, diet plays a big role. How important was that in your day, and how important do you think that is now? It's so important. The food you put into your body, the rest, the recovery, uh, all of that plays a role in extending your career and having great longevity along the way. Here's Embiid after the Timberwolves picking up a basket a moment ago. And stolen by Edwards. Here's Noel. Pass to Towns. Double team on Towns. Back to Russell. It's stolen by Wall. And now the Sixers on the break. And it's Noel with a rebound. 
Noel's got his fourth rebound in this one. Towns is screen on Maxi. Now Towns launches a three. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. Russell's got six assists in the game. It's like he needed that halftime break to gather himself. Now he's starting to get his confidence back here. Now here's Wall. Embiid, high post. Good D by Gobert. For Minnesota, they've gotten 6 of 12 shots to go here in this fourth quarter. Gobert with a screen on Maxi. Back to Towns. And it's blocked by Embiid. A menace on the defensive end. Embiid's reach disrupts your offense. Harris passes to Wall. Up top, Embiid. Gobert against Harris. Shot clock at five. Shoots it from the high post. The Sixers again can't hit. Minnesota's gone two of six so far in the fourth. Back to Towns. Over Wall. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. The 76ers shooting only 42%. To the inside. Oh, it's stolen by Towns. Fast break, Minnesota. Here's Noel. Out of bounds. It'll be Philadelphia's ball. And now a chance to see what's coming up for the Philadelphia 76ers. On Friday, they'll be matching up with Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers. Then on Sunday, they'll take on Kristaps Porzingis and the Washington Wizards. When you look ahead, there are a lot of winnable games, but you really can't think that as a player. You have to take every opponent seriously because this is the NBA. No game is a freebie. And Philadelphia calls time here. James Harden, he's checked in for Philadelphia. players make that leap from star to superstar think about guys like Giannis and Jason Tatum I mean what is that step like you did it well it's interesting you know you come into the league and, and, and you have success right away but at some point everything just clicks it could be year four year five year six usually in that window where now you figure things out and now you take that next step and become elite. Now, B.A., you know, I'm hoping that things start to click with me and my golf game. It's been about four or five years there, too. Superstar status is not in the cards for you on the golf course. <laughs> Minnesota's gone two of six so far in the fourth. Pass to Noel. 
the kick out to Edwards. Launches it. That's bucket number five. He's five for 12 now. Well, Anthony Edwards has proven to be capable from any spot on the floor. That time he hits you with the three-point shot. Okay, Anthony. Now here's Harden. And here's Harris. Embiid with it. Defended by Gobert. Embiid passes to Maxi. Five to shoot. Here's Harden. Oh, what a play. Just palms the block. Here's Noel. Pass to Towns. Now here's Edwards. Here's Gobert. Defended by Harden. And Gobert with the basket on the assist by Edwards. It's incredible to think how far Rudy Gobert has come since entering the league and his ability to finish at the cup. That is just nicely done. Now here's Harden. Embiid a screen on Russell. Three-pointer, Harden. Minnesota with a rebound. Noel's got rebound number five here tonight. Inside. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Towns has got seven points here in the quarter. I'll tell you what, it's hard to stop Carl Anthony Towns when he's looking to score. He's got every trick at his arsenal. Harden, the pass to Thibel. Embiid against Gobert. Fades. Minnesota with a rebound. A minute 37 left in the fourth quarter here. Here's Towns. And Minnesota again with a bucket. Carl Anthony Towns embraces the responsibility of being the primary scorer offensively. And boy, if he's in rhythm, it's a nightmare for the defense. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Maxi. The three is up. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. And the 76ers lead by 17. Now a timeout called by Minnesota. They're losing by 17. And we've got 118 left in the fourth quarter. in for Carl Anthony Towns. Prince comes in for Edwards. And McDaniels is subbed in for Noel. And the 76ers will have a different look here. Pirtles checked in for Embiid. Tucker comes in for Harris. Milton's checked in for Thibel. And it's Wall in for Maxi. Here's Gobert. Outside Russell. Gobert with a screen on wall. Russell the pass to Gobert. Two points. That would go. Gobert's got 12 points in just the second half. It looks like it'll be a big win for them here. Time to just cruise to the end of the game and chalk up the victory for the 76ers. They made the most of the extra rebounds tonight. Helped them out a lot. Now, when you look at these teams, they're both great rebounding clubs. And any night, either one could have the advantage on the boards. 
And tonight, a fantastic effort to deliver their 48th win of the year. Only a two-game series, and they win both. They have to be satisfied with this. And they got a lot of great solo efforts tonight, but probably none bigger than the performance for Joel Embiid. And you can't put a price on the value of his rebounding in this game. His effort on the glass was a game-changer. Now here's Milton. Prince grabs the miss. Now Russell. Pass to Prince. 11 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Five on the clock. Here's Russell. Let's the three fly. Unable to get that one. So no problem for Philadelphia as they get the win. Boy, a nice win on the road. By the time this one was winding down, this building was stone cold silent. And that's exactly what you gotta do. You have to try to take the crowd out of it. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. James, this team seems to be clicking. What's been the key lately? Uh, we're just more aggressive. More aggressive. Uh, guys are getting it, and we're playing much harder. It's a good win for us. Continue to build and continue to keep our survival. Uh, um, great team effort for us. It's up to you to keep them aggressive. Congrats on the win. Allie, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and all of our crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. Last but not least, here is your New Balance player of the game, Joel Embiid.